It is time to bring in the big chew. It's time for Pat Pagano and to check out our forecast. Good morning there, Pat. Hello there. Good morning, everybody. We have a conveyor belt of uh, rain, showers, thunderstorms going from here all the way down to Kentucky. So that's the name of the game today into tonight. Well, at least cloudy. it's it's, at least yeah. it's, warm, it's warm this morning. It's 67 here. Yeah, cloudy, humid. There'll be showers, a thunderstorm today, tonight. Mid-80s today, mid-60s again tonight. Now for tomorrow, there could be a shower or thunderstorm. Otherwise, it's just partly sunny. Not everybody's going to see it tomorrow. It'll be here and there. Highs again will be warm, mid-80s. Then we dry things out. For Sunday and Monday, it'll be sunny and breezy, very nice, with highs in the mid-70s. So delightful weather on tap, especially for Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday. All right, so Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, okay, and and most of Saturday, okay. Yeah, uh, again, there'll be an isolated shower or thunderstorm, so I don't know who's getting those, but uh, you have to just work around it. It's not it's not terrible. And... um, that's it. Um, I'm going to head to the lake tomorrow, plan to stay Saturday night, come back Sunday, and hopefully get a lot a lot of the work done. Yeah, you still have to clean up that place. You know, you haven't cleaned yeah, it. yeah, you know, it, and, it, and it's hard to do. It's hard to do that when you just go up for the day, uh, which has been the case the last month, you know, just going up for a day. And, and you know, and there were contractors there, and, and then, you know, People you haven't seen come over, they talk to you. Uh, so there's a lot of interruptions. So hopefully I'll get a lot done tomorrow and into Sunday because you just never know how the weather may turn thereafter. I mean, it could be one of those summers where it rains every weekend or it could be one of those summers where it's going to be nice every weekend. Now, when you go up, do you, do you ever go swimming in that lake? I don't, but everybody else does. You see, I used to swim in the lake all the time. So you just hang out on the porch and like have a good time? Yeah. Uh, I, In my older age, yeah. I don't like the fact that the fish... Um, are with you. <laughs> well, no, they, they, they come over, you know, they don't have teeth. Yeah. Uh, but they come over and, and you could feel them on your leg, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I, And years ago, that didn't bother me at all. Not at all. Uh, but as I got older and uh, it started happening, you know, it just skeeved me out. And I know there are snapping turtles in the lake. Uh, there are black water snakes in the lake. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of things in the lake which I never really thought about um, years and years ago. But as I started uh, getting older, I started thinking about it a lot. So I said, you know, I forget it. I mean, and there were people who get in their tubes and they float in that lake when it's hot they float in that lake from noon to four or five o'clock in the afternoon huh. and they don't come out you know i what i always hated about lake swimming i uh I, first of all it was always colder than a pool uh, but that was a good thing on, on hot days but i didn't mind the fish bumping into you and nibbling at you i hated when you got to, to a section where the the growth of the plants where yeah. Started getting on your legs and yeah, gives you a very now, icky feeling. Now, that I didn't like. Yeah. That I didn't like. But other than that, uh, swimming in a lake was always, because the water was always colder. If you went in the middle of the summer, if you went into somebody's pool, it was like going into somebody's bathtub that had been. Yes, yeah. right. But in the lake, <laughs> the lake will have cold spots. You're yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, there will be cold spots. There's no doubt about it. So. Um, you know, it doesn't stop me, though, from... Um, uh, getting my rowboat and rowing up and down the lake or something like that, um, which can, I hope to do again this year. Can you use a it, motor in, in that lake or no? No motors, no. Okay. No, they stock the lake every uh, at the beginning of the season with fish, and there are a lot of fish there, and they don't want to harm uh, any of the um, you know wildlife. They don't want the lake polluted, like Lake Hapatcon got. Can you use, uh, can you use like a sailboat? You can use a sailboat. Okay. You can use a sailboat, you can use a battery motor, you know, the trolling motors for your boat, as long as it is not gasoline. Right. And, and, and it's, a, you know, it, it's definitely, it could definitely be a lot of fun. There's no doubt about it. You know, they kayak. A lot of people have kayaks now go out on the lake. Uh, so 
it, it's a nice thing. Now, I don't, I don't think there'll be too much side to that this weekend, but we'll see what happens down the road. And um, other than that, today's just going to be one of those real heavy, murky days. Well, it got, it got very humid yesterday. And then uh, I actually, uh, in my bedroom, I put the air conditioner on 72, which doesn't really cool the air, but it takes the humidity out of the air. Right. Uh, uh, so, because because it, it did get humid yesterday, and I guess it's going to be that way today as well. Um, no doubt, and part of tomorrow. Yeah. Now, have you started planning the the picnic up there yet? That I don't believe they're having a picnic. We don't, we're not in charge of the picnic, but huh. I don't believe they're having a picnic. Um, uh, but we did ask the officers if um, we could have the dance October third, and four out of the seven officers responded and said. At this point right now, they don't see any reason why we shouldn't, you know, plan for October 3rd. Uh, as they pointed out, someone said, let's do a survey of the members. And an officer wrote back and said, that's useless. Yeah. Number one, it's going to, uh, you know, Pat needs this answer by Monday. And it's going to take more than just this weekend to get answers. And a lot of people will not make decisions June 5th for October 3rd. Yeah, you so, know, because yeah. they'll still be very apprehensive as to what's going to go on with the virus and things like that. So they said uh, the worst that the association could lose is five hundred dollars, a hundred as a deposit toward the DJ, and four hundred as a deposit toward the hall. And uh, and I'm sure both. Uh, I know the hall, the catering hall, said that in the event that it's restricted, and New Jersey says no to it, uh, they would promptly. Uh, give us back our money. And I'm sure the DJ would do the same thing. So, uh, I mean, unless it is our elective not to have the dance October 3rd, we'll lose the the, uh, the deposits. But that would be about it. We're hoping that by October 3rd, uh, this will be uh, a lot better. Look at it this way. It started early March. Now we're in early June. That's three months later. In three months, we peaked and we came all the way down on the curve. So I'm assuming in another three months, um, that line should be way below normal. What if, the, what if it comes back in the fall, like they say? Well, hopefully the fall is November. <laughs> and not October. I'm a little worried because uh, my daughter, uh, Karen, is getting married on October 25th in Virginia. And I've got my motel reservations to go down there uh, and uh, and uh, enjoy that uh, that day, and I'm a little I'm I'm a little worried about that date. Uh, uh, you know, it's, I think that's uh, up in the air. But uh, when I say a little worried, it's only when I think about it. When somebody brings up something that brings me there, otherwise, I'm still planning a full bore to drive down to Virginia uh, on the 23rd and uh, and have fun at uh, Karen's uh, wedding and then uh, head back home. Uh, uh, I have a feeling you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, truthfully, if anything is going to peak, it's going to peak in the next week because of all these protesters, um, you know, being so close together. That's my feeling. Yeah, let's, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, so I'm, I'm, that's right. That's, and that's only th that's only two days after my birthday. I told her when she picked the date, I said, that's a nice birthday present for you to get married uh, on uh, just uh, two days after my birthday. She goes, oh, my God, I forgot. <laughs> so I, that should be a busy weekend for me, uh, the, the, you know, the, 20, the 23rd and the 25th. Right. I'll be 68, Pat. God bless you. 68. <laughs> and still kicking. Who would have thunk? <laughs> if you and if you and still doing a radio show. That's right. If you would have seen me in the 70s, you would have never thought that I was going to be around uh, uh, at 68. <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean. Uh, I had four hours sleep last night. I am so tired. Um, Shirley woke me up at 1230 when the thunderstorm hit. And um, she just goes nuts. And she would not, not leave me alone until 130. Well. And at that point, I was so awake uh, that I decided, you know, come down to the weather center and uh, and start working. So 
that's it. I had four hours sleep. Well, one of my cats got a mouse last night, but I got it while it was still alive, and I was able to throw it outside. Oh. It happened about 1 o'clock in the morning. All right, so that's my mouse story for today. And, Pat, I want you to have a great weekend. Well, thank you. I will do the same, and I'll see you Monday, Marshall. All right, take care and be safe. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. I'm Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.